and hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today we will be learning about checking strings in Python. One of the few things that can be kind of interesting and very useful in the future and not a very big topic in general. So let's get started. So let's ha say we have a variable called x and this variable has maybe like a number in there, so 177013 maybe. And let's say we want to check if that variable has a number in it or is a number to be more specific. What we can do is we can just say print and let's just print x to make sure everything's working. So if I say python and just main.py and as you can see we get a number but how do we know that it's just a number though? Well one thing we can do is we can just say dot is digit is digit will return true if it's just numbers. So if it's just number value, it will return true. In this case, it is just a number value, so it will return true. We could also, if we wanted to, we could change this up and we can like add a, a, a letter in there. So maybe like A. Now if we run it, we get false because now there's a letter in there and it's no longer just numbers, so it's not just a digit. Same will go if we added like just a bunch of text and return false because it's just a digit. You can do the same thing with letters. So let's say we have a, b, c for example. Now instead of is digit, we can say is alpha. Which probably just means like is alphabetical or something like that. Run that, you get true because it is just alphabetical letters. If we were to add a number in here, then we would get false because now it's no longer just alphabetical letters. It's it's not letters anymore. It's now letters plus a number. So yeah, you just take that into consideration. Same we go if we added a number there. We would get false. Now you might be wondering, okay, but where would this be useful? Well, one way you can do it is let's say we get x and we make that input. And then we go f. Now, if we were to run this, and I would just say 12, we would get the wow. But if we were to run this, and I would just say maybe f, then it would say, hey, that's not a valid value. This is one way that this can be very useful, because sometimes what the user will input can be unpredictable. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and did learn something new. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And then I'll see you all again in the next video.